and Muslims as a community must recognize the strength of our organizations and processes because that strength that comes from organizations is extremely important to move the mission of peace that is very vibrant in Islam. Muslims must know that we have an extremely dynamic organization, an organization that has done more than I can enumerate or would want to, I don't want to bore you and keep you here too long, but the Council of American Islamic Relations has earned a reputation that if there's any trouble, care is there. Care is there for Muslims in the United States. And it has done a great deal of work with a great deal of vision. And Muslims in the Toledo area, in the greater Toledo area and the nation must understand and support the organizational capability and the dynamic vision of care. It is a great honor to have the executive director who's really an amazing human being, um, Nihad Awad. And I introduce uh, him to you to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be to you. I just flew in, flew in from uh, Washington, D.C. with my colleague, Muhammad Sadiq. And I intended to come here uh, some time ago, but today I feel like a presidential candidate. <laughs> coming, uh, coming to Ohio twice in a month. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on a serious note, I, I came here to tell Sister Muhajjabin Islam, you are a true leader. You rose to the challenge. To thank the Muslim community for being together. To thank all of you, people of faith and people who have no faith. You came here to tell the perpetrator, to tell the world that you are one community. And this is the story that has to be told, not the act of the hate crime that we've seen a few days ago, but this community coming together, this is the story of America. <laughs> I toured the mosque just a few minutes ago. Sister Nabila Hamdan, a teacher, where, is she? where, are, you? where are you? Thank you for being there. She's a teacher. She did not know that I would say this. She was with Muhajjabin Islam showing me the damage, which was extensive. And she was holding the books, the children's books that had been damaged by water. And she was saying, everything is gone. It is true that the physical damage is severe. The emotional damage is serious. But I think from this incident, this is spiritual uplifting. This unity. I believe our children, the students of this mosque, should be told not that someone came and attacked us. One came, was it Sunday? One came on Sunday. But 600 people came on another Sunday. Sikh, Sikh people, Hindu, Christian, Muslim, they came together to make sure that the future of these children is vibrant and healthy. And this is the story of America, brothers and sisters of all faith. This was not an attack on a physical building. This was an attack on the United States Constitution. And I remind myself and brothers and sisters, we recited few verses of the Quran. Let's recite another verse of the Quran. This, this verse drives me every day. And that says that 
an evil act is not equivalent to a good act. Repel that which is good, repel that which is evil with that which is good. So that the person that you may have an enmity with, with you may become a close friend. This should be our response. Good deed. Forgive this. The wheels of justice are rolling. This person is lagging in, in jail now. But the message is, we have to reach out to people. The Muslim community and Islam are not known. This is an opportunity so that every person in Toledo should know the Muslim community and should know Islam. For if people know what Islam is and what American Muslims are, they will embrace American Muslims because they will know. And by the way, I'm not preaching now. They will know. They will know that Islam is an Abrahamic religion. That Muslims worship the only God. That Muslims believe in Jesus. They believe in Mary. They believe in Abraham, in David, in Moses, in all the prophets of God. If people only know that Islam is a religion similar to theirs, there are few differences. We can manage those differences. Diversity is not a weakness. It is a strength. Whether it's a synagogue, a church, or a mosque, these are not a sign of division. They are a sign of unity, and we celebrate the unity because we learn so much from the love, from the revelation, and from the companionship and friendship. And my last message. It's great for us to defend ourselves and advocate for ourselves. It's great for the Sikh community to come out and defend themselves. But it is another, it is a greater act. If I come to the defense of the Sikh community, if I come to the defense of the Jewish community, if I go and defend the Hindu community, and likewise, if the Jewish community steps up and defend the Muslim community, that is a greater action. And that's why I urge all of you, I urge you to be visible and not to be silent. This is the take home, take home message. Don't be silent. If you see Islamophobia, stand up. Push back. You don't have to be the Imam. You don't, you don't have to be a Muslim. Push back. When you see some bad and negative and biased coverage, which is a lot, speak up and challenge stereotypes. Because when people hear you, when they see you, you are really lighting a candle in front of darkness. I see so many stories, and I need not to name any network, and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you see commentary, and you see hateful speech, if we are silent, it will translate into violence, it will rip our fabric. It will destroy our future. We owe it to our children. Courage of speech, and stepping up, and pushing back against hatred with love, and the story of unity like this. Thank you very much. Learn more at care.com.